I thought I'd go over the calcium hydroxide and drying uh, protocol that we use uh, because I had this case this morning. So this is a calcium hydroxide visit. I go in with the high speed and I just remove a little bit of the glass ionomer and then I finish it, remove the rest of it with a workhorse one tip. And I like that. I can blast out the, the uh, apical part of the glass ionomer and take the cotton ball out uh, at the same time uh, without using up a high speed or, or a drill. So that just comes out with the workhorse one. Uh, and then we're ready to uh, irrigate out the calcium hydroxide. So I use the mini air stropco, mini air and water air stropco. And usually by this time, I've, I'm able to get that uh, needle very close to the apex. And you can see the calcium hydroxide just coming out. I'm alternating with water, air, water, air, water, air. And I'm just flushing all of that calcium hydroxide uh, out of the space. This is an MB1 and an MB2 I'm retreating. And then I go in with alcohol and I'll flush with alcohol, getting the needle uh, relatively close to the terminus. And you can see there's still some calcium hydroxide coming out. And then I'll just pump with alcohol in place with a couple of gutta percha cones uh, and usually try to go through the terminus with the gutta percha cone and just trying to remove a little more of the remnants of calcium hydroxide. Then I go in with the uh, normal air and water and I dry it out and then I go to the air only stropco and we completely desiccate the canal with the air only stropco. Uh, doesn't show very well here but it just gets bone dry. So I don't have Joy there with the suction or the tsui. Um, she's doing other things while I'm getting the canals really dry. I'm going to go in with the paper point here. So she's getting all of the paper points ready. And I'll put a paper point in and then put an air only strop go uh, in the other canal and just make sure that it's uh, as dry as I can get it. There's the other air strop air only strop go going in and there you can see a little bit how dry it is so this seems to me to be a very efficient way to do it here's the calcium hydroxide with the stopper measured and we inject the calcium hydroxide and then we'll just put uh, a glass ionomer over the top of that so here here's kind of the review from different angles in the operatory so you can get some sense of the rhythm and rhythm uh, it's very easy for me to go to my air only stropco and mini air and, and water stropco. Um, I don't like to tie my assistant up with having to suction into the canals and that sort of thing. It just seems uh, to slow me up a little bit. So uh, here we are. I'm going in with the paper points back and forth to the uh, air. There's the normal air and water and then I'll go to the air only drying it off. Joy is changing my mirrors. Here we are with uh, I'm using a rinse with bleach and then alcohol. There's the alcohol and from the camera position behind me you can see where the location of the three strop goes is pretty important. Uh, you should be able to, with practice, you should be able to go to those without even looking up. And you can see I'm upright, Joy is upright. And it's a very easy motion because those strap goes are right in the exact position because I can move my cart. Here's a microscope view of it so you get a little better sense of uh, the, the flow of what this happens, how this happens. You can see I'm alternating between the normal air and water and the air only strop go. And all Joy has done during this whole procedure is just use her large suction. This whole visit took about 12 or 13 minutes from start to finish, including numbing the gum up. Um, so that's the, that's how we're doing it in our office.